Hey guys, it's Mickey Smart here, and today I'm going to be reading a Kuro Tessaro X Listener. This one is titled Sudden Confession, so without further ado, let's get right on into the video. Curiosity over Nekuma's volleyball captain was what brought you to the gym today. Kuro Tetsuro, you didn't know much about him, other than the fact that he was an upperclassman, and that you had the huge urge to touch that bed hair of his. Maybe even comb it. Was that even possible? You looked around the court, and you couldn't help but notice the excitement and dedication that all the players had. You found yourself getting absorbed by all of it. Whoa, a really pretty girl is here. A strange boy with sparky brown hair exclaimed when he stood next to you. Slightly taken aback by his sudden appearance, you wondered what... Why... When he had gotten so close to you, the rest of the team stopped what they were doing to look over at you. Feeling your face immediately flare up, you managed to uh, let out a small greeting. Ah, uh, ah, uh, hello. Hoping that they would get back to what they were doing, but unfortunately, it didn't look like that was going to happen anytime soon. Oh, what are you doing here? Your eyes widened as you saw Kuro spoke to you. <laughs> you began to rack your brain trying to think of what to say. Come on, think, Wyan. I can't say... I can't seem to say anything to him. That'll just make it like a feeling for him or some crazy stalker, I don't know. I, um, j just came to, um, d did you come to be our, our manager? The boy that you recognize as Yamamoto Takatora, I think that's how you sell it, yelled out to you. Before you could even register what he had said to you, you yelled out in agreement. Yes, that's exactly it. <gasps> really? The spiky-haired boy exclaimed, ask the brown spiky-haired boy asked excitedly. That's great, we're finally going to have a cute manager like Karasuno. The boy grabbed your hands and pulled them towards him. Please take good care of us. Y yeah. You stuttered out and you glanced at Kuro who looked back at you. He smiled at you just as he spoke. What's your name? Wyan. Well, welcome to the team, Wyan. A few weeks later. Nakamo was currently facing off against a strong opponent. There was tension in the air as the score was 20 to 23, Nakamo being on the losing end. You couldn't help but bite your nails in desperation. The few weeks had passed, or the few weeks that you had spent with the volleyball club, you had really grown fond of the guys, and couldn't help but feel the same pain that they felt whenever they lost a point. They had begun to look exhausted and mentally drained. You felt so powerless as you sat there on the bench, praying for a miracle. Looking over at Kuro, you could tell that he was at his limit. The look on his face was still full of determination, but you could sense a part of him was ready to give up. Clenching your fist, you yelled out, You got this, guys! You will definitely win! Building up your nerves as you looked at Kuro and pointed at him, Kuro, don't you dare think of giving up! The Kuro I know and love would never back down. Everyone froze and looked at you with shock, on, evident on their faces. You would begin to mentally curse yourself as you felt your face go bright red. Did I just confess in front of everyone? You whispered to yourself, Oh my god, life is over. I should really go crawl in a hole or something. You contemplated what to do now. Kuro, who had been shocked by the said confession, was now grinning. All right, everyone, you heard why in. We need to step up our game. They had all seemed a little bit relaxed and were now smiling. Starting the game again, you felt a determination fill the court. You smiled. I'll definitely win. You continued to cheer them on, even if the embarrassment qu hadn't quite subsided yet. Once the game had ended, you had gotten up for the bench and ran to the guys, handing them their water bottles. You guys were amazing. Aw, oh, thanks, Wyan. Yaku replied with a kind smile. It's all thanks to your cheering that we were able to pull through. Ah, oh, no problem. I didn't really do anything special. You looked up as he felt an arm snake around your shoulders. Kuro! Your calm face had suddenly burned up again. You were trying so hard to avoid him after your little confession. So, Wyan, what should we do about our victory? How should we celebrate? He mischievously whispered to you. Uh, let's all go out to eat. He chuckled. By we, I mean just you and me. We're dating now, aren't we? Or were you just playing around when you said that you love me? Oh, what? You could feel your heart racing even faster than the words that he just spoke. You couldn't believe it. Kuro likes you back. Today was definitely going to be a good day. I, I like you. You nervously choked out. He smirked and grabbed your hand, leading you away from everyone else. I like you too. <sighs> oh my god. That was so cute. Um, what the fuck? That was adorable. Um, anyways, that was so cute. Um, that's all I have to say. <laughs> Hopefully you guys, you guys, what? Hopefully you guys liked the video, and if you did, make sure you subscribe and have that notification bell so you get notified every single time I post a video. And also like the video because then you can get, it. Oh, wait, no, wait, that's the wrong one. Oops. Like the video because that is something for the YouTube algorithm. And, uh, comment below some other characters you want me to read, and I will definitely do my best to do them for you guys. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. Have a fantastic day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye!